or Rose here, coming from the couch of the Art We There Yet bus, currently parked in beautiful, beautiful Marathon, Ontario, Canada. Now, I've had some issues with live streams in the past, so before I continue any further, I'm just going to wait and make sure that I am actually live with you guys here today. So for that, I'm going to mute this computer and tune in to the Art We There Yet channel. Aha! I see perhaps somebody else has tuned in. If you are tuned in and you see me, if you can give me a little shout out to make sure that I am... Aha! I see myself. I am live. I will trust this. Hi, Dave. Excellent. All right. I believe I am thoroughly live. So as you all know, live streams can be trimmed a little later on. So I'm going to pretend this beginning part didn't happen. I'll trim that off later. So I'm going to start my spiel again. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Art We There Yet bus. This is going to be a little concert from the couch. We are currently parked in beautiful and currently beautifully sunny Marathon, Ontario, Canada, where we are currently painting a massive mural. If you've been following our Instagram, you know what we're talking about. I'm actually from the from here up, I'm in my concert clothes, and from here down, <laughs> I'm in my painting clothes. I guess I can show you. This is this is us being together here on the Art We There Yet bus. So here you can see. I'm in my painting clothes from the waist down. We have been painting nonstop on this mural and we are so proud of it. It is so beautiful. If you haven't seen little stories of it and, and some of our posts of it yet on, on Instagram, you really should check it out because by far this is not the largest building we've painted, but the largest amount of surface area by far. And it's a killer design. Jose did an amazing job. So. Welcome everyone and welcome to everyone who's here now. Welcome to everybody who watches the replay and um, If I so I don't forget i um, happy July 4th I know many people might actually be having their their Independence Day celebrations today. So I know we might be a little slow to you today, but that's all good um, I thought that today playing a couple songs for you from the couch. It'd be fun to share uh, kind of reflection back, but also a little projection forward. So the songs that I'm going to start off with today are songs that were written a whopping 10 years ago <laughs> and still haven't been released publicly. And these are songs that have that were written in 2012 and uh, stuff that's just been in bubbling in the back of my mind for a long time and trying to find the perfect way and the just trying to find the setting to get them out into the world. And um, it looks like the next EP that will be part of Art We There Yet's, all my EPs that I do for Art We There Yet, is going to include some of these songs. Hi, Alfredo de Juan! Hi! Bienvenido! <laughs> Welcome! So, without further ado, I'm going to play the first song that I am thinking is going to be the next song that we start recording out there in the world. Um, in fact, the part of that recording might be done right here where we are parked in Marathon, Ontario, next to this beautiful lake. It's a beautiful setting, so I'm thinking maybe I'll film the guitar part here. So this is The First Love. Oh, the sweetness, the nervous 
restlessness fading to joy with every touch of his hands and my skin. Oh, the first love I remember it well. tilt you guys down just a little bit. I'm noticing I got a lot of headspace. And maybe you can see more of the guitar if I bring you down. Eee! Just like that. Let's see. Yeah. And I'm more comfy that way too. As you can see out the back we have beautiful Penn Lake. This is Penn Lake Campground in Marathon. Beautiful spot. If you ever come through here you have to stay here. It's just a really really sweet place. So here's another, this song is profoundly special to me. It's just one of those that's kind of like a soul song for me. Um, and I'm really excited to finally put it in its final recorded form, the way that I've always imagined it would be. And to be able to do that, capturing it around the world, you know, around in, in beautiful places of the Americas, it's just going to be kind of like a, kind of like here we listen it won't have that grungy feeling of here we listen. It will feel more warm and, and up uplifting. Um, but I felt like here we listen, that song was finally given like its its full potential. And so I'm excited to finally do that for this song as well. I kind of feel like my life's work is just going to be getting out all the music that I've already written. <laughs> I have so many songs that haven't gotten out that is just kind of my task now to get it all out while I'm while I'm still here. So this is Can You Hear the Rain? And the thing is, I wrote these songs 10 years ago and my voice has changed a lot. My voice is, is lowered quite a bit. So the, t the keys that I used to play it in, I actually have to shift a lot of stuff. Oh, I can still do it clear. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to risk it. Guys, I'm going to risk it. Yeah. And I'm I'm sorry for the tuning. Marathon has a lot of temperature fluctuations. And my poor guitar just doesn't know what to do with it. So 
song is called Can You Hear the Rain? Can you hear the rain? He asked me as it raged above our heads As we lay so soft and quiet in the comfort of our bed Drummers on the rooftop underneath I'm safe and warm How I love this man beside me My shelter from the storm I saw I saw a comment come through that disappeared right before I could see who wrote it. Um, oh, Dave, thank you. Dave says, love this tune. And somebody had said, uh, very love the tempo and uplifting. And, and I'm sorry, whoever said that. I, I, I opened my eyes and I saw it and then it disappeared. So I'm not sure who said that, but thank you. I really appreciate that. 
Um, I'll try and forget. I sometimes lose myself and I just want to close my eyes and sing. Um, but if I do that, I'm going to miss what you guys are saying. So I'm going to try and keep my eyes open. Stay with you here. So this next one, um, when I wrote it, I had a very clear vision of um, an actual place in my mind. And uh, I have a feeling there's going to, the universe is going to like pull an awesome for us. And somewhere along our route in the next year and a half, I just, ha I just like can feel it that we're going to come across that scene. Um, and when that happens, that's where we're going to film this, I hope, or at least film me walking through this field. So the story of the song, it was, um, it's kind of like a mesh of thinking about where I grew up, but also like a, a, a fictional place. So it, when you hear the song, it, it talks about when you go, um, go down to the valley where the woods are wild. So that's kind of a, an, you know, alluding to the valley where I grew up, which you'll actually get to know more about in our next, uh, in our coming up YouTube videos, as well as the next music video called I am the river you're gonna hear all about that and where I grew up in the valley and everything um so this song was kind of alluding to that as well it goes go down into the valley where the woods are wild when you make it to the willow stop and sit a while there's a willow tree that I am very connected with and in, in the valley where I grew up you actually see it in the, in the next music video coming up that very willow and when you come into the river walk along her side and she will take you to the meadow where the ruins lie. So again, alluding to the river, the river right near where I grew up, the river that obviously I am the river song is about. Um, but then it goes, go into the meadow where the ruins lie. And uh, that is in my mind, I'm imagining a meadow surrounded by woods filled with tall grasses. And somewhere in that meadow, there's the crumbling remnants of an old house. Um, and then it goes on to, you'll hear the rest of what the, what the song says. Um, and in some ways it tells my story, but it doesn't. In the, in the song, it talks about losing a father, but you know, thank God my father is still here with us. Um, and, but the, the part that does kind of still fit is, you know, where a stone foundation crumbles and the wind sings goodbye and that kind of alludes to, you know, we we all live in stages of our life. And sometimes the things that were felt like a castle at one stage in our life, something that could never change, ends up changing. Um, and we still hold on to those little pieces, those remnants, those ruins. Uh, but we also have to free ourselves from those things. And we have to let ourselves just go with the wind um, to move on to the next thing. And that's the wind singing goodbye to us. So that's a very long intro to this song. This is called Stone Foundation. And once again, I have to find where it actually works for my current voice. Actually, that might work. Yeah, let's try it. Going down to the valley Where the woods are wild And when you make it to the willow Stop and sit a while And when you come to the river Walk along her side And she will take you to the meadow Come to the meadow and breathe the open air and lie along among the grasses, growing tall and fair. Who are no more 
nobody ever understood you and why you had to leave. All this soul's had anchors, yours had wings, and it's been so many years now since you. And your soul is burdened by many hopes and fears. But when you come to the valley, to the meadows arms, you can feel a peace inside so real. You are simply who you are. You have your So yeah, if you can imagine, I'm just so looking for Jose Luis. Hi from Argentina. Bienvenido. Hi, welcome. So yeah, I'm just imagining a field that we're going to come across with tall grass, like golden kind of dry grass. And then there's going to be this crumbling ruin of a house or something. And I'm going to be like, this is what I was imagining. At the very least, we have to film just walking through the field, you know, touching the grass. So I have a feeling the universe is going to make that happen somehow, somewhere. So I've just played three very slow kind of uh, songs. So now I'm going to pop it up a little bit and play another song that is 10 years old and that it's a high time it get out there in the world. And I think it's a little appropriate for the times in which we find ourselves. Such a sweet 
sweet little light packs a heck of a bite. I know you would listen to me so offline. Comes with you, don't get a run. Build the dam up all high. Oh, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see what happens when you try to fight it with fire. You fool, you fool. I told you not to know you would listen to me. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see what happens when you try to put your shackles on me. You got a nose on your face that doesn't know its place in your eyes, they just don't seem to see. Oh, the hornet's a nest a few feet ahead, but no, you won't listen to me. So you keep swinging the bat, enjoy yourself while you can, cause you're going to see. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see what happens when you try to put your shackles on me. You fool, you fool, I told you not to, but no, you wouldn't listen to me. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see what happens when you try to put your shackles on me. Na, 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 oh, 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 oh. I'm going to show you my cheat sheet here. This is a list of songs that I always want to kind of have up my sleeve. And I'm looking at this list now because this is actually something that I am debating. Uh, I know that in the next EP, I would love to have Hear the Rain, My First Love, and Stone Foundation on there. And um, I think this is one of the other ones. I'm kind of debating some other ones because I also want to things need to kind of fit together well. But this is one of the ones that I, I think is gonna go on there. And especially cause if at all possible, I wanna try and get some special person singing on this with me, but I'm gonna keep that under wraps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so this song is called Truly You. And once again, it was written a long time ago, 10 years ago, at least. And I've always imagined the song as the color yellow. Don't ask me why. If you really like the song and you want a recording of it, uh, we have it. This is one of the songs I've shared. Actually, First Love and Hear the Rain and Stone Foundation, actually all of the songs that you've heard right now, if you really like them and you want the recordings of them, um, join our Patreon family. All the demo recordings of these songs recorded 10 years ago are gifted to our Patreon family. I do that every single month. I find a, a song that's in my hard drive archived that hasn't gone out into the world yet and I gift it to our patrons. So if you want the recordings of these, join along. It's like a buck a, buck a month. Um, to be part of our patron family and you get all those songs and tons of other stuff too the link is in the description i think pretty sure i put the link in there i should have so this is truly you why dear why you try Find yourself when you're still a child, oh, oh, what are they telling you? Have they told you yet that you still got time and a good thing, oh, it's your life and only you choose what you do. So go and laugh, go and run, go get on the sun, go, go and dream, go and kiss someone. You won't find you what you're trying to hear until you come undone and if they tell you they haven't won oh and if they try and if they do 
I'm going to lose myself here a little bit so that I can really sing the song well for you. So hey dear, why are you sticking around here? What's wrong? What's holding you down dear? No, no, it's nobody but you. So get up, get up, get the heck out of town. If that's what you want, why are you sticking around here? You gotta let your feet tell you what to do. I hope I didn't miss any um, comments. Let me, I see this button here. What does that do? Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. That's how I can see all the comments. Awesome. Gracias desde España. De nada. Maybe I should sing something in Spanish, eh? Oi. How do I do? Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll sing something in Spanish. I, um, <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm gonna do this. I have a song that I did write in Spanish, but I'm pretty sure the grammar and is just awful because I wrote it 14 years ago. Ouch. Yeah, 14 years ago, wrote this one. And um, my Spanish was not where it is now. So all y'all who listen and they're like, what's she saying? Just be kind. Eh, para todos que están mirando, uh, que quieren, pues, si quieren escuchar una canción en español, esta es una canción que escribí hace 14 años casi. Y perdóname, porque me imagino que la gramática está horrible. Vamos a ver. This is Te Toca, which in English is It's Your Turn. Mm. 
Entren la calle. Roberto, hi. Desde Italy. Awesome. Entre la calle y la valle, entre caos y una vida de paz. Así soy, con la oreja a la lata, intentando saber dónde estás. Ya me voy, ya te toca a ti, amor, a ti, amor. Y si no, no voy a volverte a ver. Ya te toca a ti, amor, ya fui, amor. Horribles patas no se van a ver, si sí si, o no estás aquí. Y, 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 y. Ya veo un bien este camino se estrechando adelante de mí Así soy Y sería esta vida más tristeza si tú no estás aquí Pero ya te toca a ti, amor A ti, amor Y si no, no voy a volverte a ver Ya te toca a ti, amor Ya fui, amor Y no volver Si, si no estás aquí y, y, yo no paso por alto, no paso por alto lo que lleva el viento aquí. Yo no paso por alto, no paso por alto lo que lleva el viento aquí. Yo no paso por alto, no paso por alto lo que lleva el viento aquí. Ya te toca a ti, amor, a ti, amor, y si no vuelve a ver, te toca a ti, amor, ya fui, amor, y las patas no se paran para ver si sí o no estás aquí. Yeah, so I think I need to have the um, Spanish speaker in my life look that over and, <laughs> and see hmm, what we can work on with that. Um, but I actually have been kind of pulling together a list of songs to sing completely in Spanish. And one of those songs is um, a beautiful, beautiful song um, for the English speakers watching. It's called... Um, Amar y querer, o querer y amar. Somebody help me out with that one. Um, es que todos sabemos querer, pero poco sabemos amar. Um, and it's a beautiful song. I, I really am I'm trying to learn right now. And it's uh, all about the difference between the two forms of the two forms of love. So next up on. Maybe the next concert I'll, I'll have that one in the bag and I'll be able to explain it more, but... Quería que sepan todos los que están mirando en español que estoy trabajando en uh, aprender unas canciones en español incluyendo Amar y Querer o Querer y Amar por, creo que, eh, por José José. So, yeah, I'm trying to work on that one. De repente, de Soriana, mm, I don't. If you send me a link, Roberto, if you send me a link um, to to that song on, on YouTube, I, I can I can check it out and learn it. I've had some other songs that were recommended to me to, to sing in Spanish, so I'll be working on those as well. Um, so I wanted to cap this this um, this concert to an hour, which means I got yeah, that's a good amount of time. Um, to share with you some other tunes that might be going on the next EP that, or they might go somewhere else. Gigi, hi! Hi, welcome, welcome. And one of those songs is... Whew, it's kind of always tough to find the spot for. 
you'll be like, but wait, Corey, this one went out on reset, so this song's already been released. And I'm like, yeah, it has with that whole group, and it was really fun, but there's kind of another production I'm imagining of this song. And so I'm just debating, should I make another version of it, or just put that other version on hold? We'll figure out. Should I stay or should I go for the first time ever? I just don't know. And maybe, hey, that really isn't so bad. Ooh, maybe something needed to slow me down. Pull up on the rain so I look around and see everything I was missing out on. Cause it's a beautiful life when you stop to look sometimes. Hey, this is a sign I'm gonna take the time, sit and watch the world go by. a lot of the life that's lived past and what a beautiful sight I see here from the sidelines now what a sight Is beautiful life and yeah I just think that maybe there's another version of it in there but maybe it'll wait until later um, so um, this is my my cheat sheet of songs these aren't all of them but I was looking through here now that I know there's folks from Chile from Italy from Argentina I'm thinking maybe I can sing another one in Spanish and I always sing Besame Mucho, so I'm trying to think, what else can I pull out that's in Spanish? <clears throat> you know what would be fun for me to try is a song I've never actually... <laughs> it's not prepared, and so I might really mess it up. But it'd be fun. I feel like with you guys, here, I, here we are, you're in my home with me, we're at the couch. Why not just pull out something that I haven't practiced at all? Um... Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Let's do it. Eh, para, para ustedes que, nos, que, que hablan español, es que voy a hacer algo que no planeé. 
es que quería cantar otra canción en español para ustedes y así que siempre canto Bésame Mucho y entonces no quiero hacer eso otra vez. Voy a cantar otra canción que no he practicado por, y no sé si voy a acordarme de todas las letras, pero es una de mis canciones favoritas en el todo el mundo. So, I might even get these words wrong, but... For everyone who, who doesn't know the, the band Maná, if you know the band Maná, um, es un grupo muy famoso, it's a very famous group, uh, Mexican group, and this is my favorite song. Esta es mi canción favorita de ellos. Vamos a ver. Hey. Oh, somebody kicked them out. Nasty words in that. I haven't I haven't given somebody moderator status, but maybe I should. <laughs> We don't have that. Okay, vamos a ver. I'm just gonna sing it as it was. Como quisiera poder vivir sin aire. Como quisiera guardarte en el cajón. Como quisiera poder vivir sin agua. Me encantaría robar tu corazón.
como quisiera That's going to be bothering me. I can't remember that second line. Como, como quisiera poder vivir sin aire. Como quisiera calmar mi aflicción. Así es. Ay, ya. Yeah. Como quisiera. Okay. Gracias, Jose Luis. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. Now I have it. I want to sing the chorus one more time. Quiero um, cantar ese coro una vez más para ustedes, especially those who haven't heard this song, because it's such a beautiful chorus. Calmar mi aflicción. And I'm going to pull up those lyrics that you just gave me. Como quisiera poder vivir sin aire, como quisiera calmar mi aflicción, como si poder sin agua, me encantaría robar tu corazón. Okay. One, two, three. I have time for one more song, I think. Saludos desde Nicaragua! Ay, Nicaragua, mi caraguita, la flor más linda de mi querer, abandonada en la sabana, Nicaragua. Esa es otra canción que quiero aprender, y especialmente para mí, porque, pues, Como ustedes saben, algún día voy a vivir en Nicaragua por tiempo completo. So that song, uh, Nica Nicaragua, Nicaraguita, is a really special song I, I want to learn eventually because it's a very famous and um, special song in Nicaragua. And I want to learn it because Nicaragua is going to be my home eventually. So, um, my cheat sheet here, I want to leave you with maybe the very last song that um well i won't have that be the last song because i don't want to leave you on a low note yeah hmm <laughs> So this one was written a while back and it's changed over the years.
this is no promise. Well, I'm going to sing one final song for you guys. Voy a cantar una canción más para ustedes. And then I'm going to have to head back to the rest of my work for the day, which is painting a massive mural here in Marathon, Ontario. If you have not seen what we are working on right now, it is crazy big and crazy beautiful. And you really should follow. I'm trying to keep the stories as updated as I can while also char being in charge of painting and giving people colors and stuff. But um, it's um, just, Jose pulled out all the stops on this one. It's an amazing mural. Um, ah, video of Verde Por Dentro. Yes. Yes, go go check that out. I know it's her last um, video of the season. I'm going to actually watch it later. <laughs> so um, I'm going to sing one final song for you and then I'm going to 
take you outside just for a second to show you where we are. I might lose a connection, but I at least I want to show you where we are. And then I'm going to head myself back to mural painting. Everybody who saw before, I'm going to show you. From here up, I am in concert mode. And from my waist down, I am in mural mode. See, these are my painting pants. <laughs> I'm covered in paints <laughs> from mural time. Oh, and also Jose Luis told me to tell all of you hello. And he is sorry once again, he can't be here, but he is at the wall handing out paint and painting away himself. So here's one final song. This is not going to be on the next EP. This is just one I want to leave you guys with because it's upbeat and happy. And I hope it makes the rest of your day have a little bit more sunshine in it. Um, so I hope that wherever you are on this Sunday, this song helps uh, give a little pep in your day and get stuck in your day, is stuck in your ear for the rest of the day. And sing along from wherever you are. guys thank you for joining me from the couch here in beautiful marathon ontario it was really nice for me to be here and to kind of just low-key get to sing some songs not make a huge production out of it. it helps me realize that this is something i can do more often um it doesn't have to, everything doesn't have to be a huge production all of the time and 
I'm going to now show you where the bus is parked. I might lose you. That's why I saved this for last, because I might lose you here. But I'm going to show you where we're parked, and then I'm going to bid you farewell and see you next week, where hopefully we can get our next installment video done of our time in Wisconsin. It's all leading up to the next big music video. Um, so all of these videos help kind of provide context for what's what's coming next. So I'm going to show you where we are right now. So I apologize for you're welcome, Jose Luis. You're very welcome. I'm going to unplug you guys. I apologize for the shaky camera. So here we are in the Aren't We There Yet bus. Bedroom is in bedroom mode. Dishes in the sink. Oh, that's a good question, Dave. How far away is the mural? The mural is about three minutes away from here. Yeah, this lake here is right on the edge of town. And so it's just a yeah three minute drive and we're at the mural. So let's take a jaunt outside. I'm going to turn the camera around. There we go. So the first thing I want to show you is look at that view. Look at that view. Unbelievable. Really. Just spectacular view. Red and white balloons because it was just Canada Day on July 1st and we wanted to celebrate with everyone. This beautiful Penn Lake. It's a beautiful spot. They showed us the fireworks from here the other night. So everybody, there was all, everybody was all parked out here to watch the fireworks. It was a great fireworks show. And here's our little Bobby bus. Just hanging out. Pretty awesome. We, pre we feel very, very, very lucky. This mural is taking a lot longer than we ever planned. It's kind of drawn on and on and on. And um, it's just, we'll take the time that it needs. But we figure, wow, what a, at least, while this is just taking the time it needs, we're in a beautiful spot. And we get to be here, so. Still counting our blessings. Gotta shut the door before the mosquitoes get in. So, thank you guys for being here with me. And yeah, come on over to Instagram. Cause, uh, <laughs> we got quite a project going on right now. Um, espero que eh, se unen con, nos con nosotros en Instagram porque ahorita eh, estamos haciendo un proyecto grandísimo. Estamos pintando un mural, el mural más grande que hemos pintado. Um, no por el, el tamaño del edificio, sino por eh, el, la cantidad de, de área que estamos cubri cubriendo con pintura. So, ahí en Instagram tenemos todo eso. Deben ver lo que tenemos. Es increíble lo que estamos haciendo. So, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here with me. And happy early 4th of July. Yay! All right. Um, stay in touch, and we will see you next weekend. Yeah. And now with that, I'm going to press this button, and I think that means I'm going to stop streaming. We'll find out. Love you guys. Abrazos, hugs, and have a beautiful Sunday. Que tengan un lindo domingo.